Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Uh, Worth It or Not, where I review all things health, fitness, and beauty. So uh, if you're not subscribing already, please do so and like and ring the bell if you find that this review is helpful. Um, so since the beginning of uh, January, one of my New Year's resolutions has been to spend less time on my phone, uh, try to practice more positivity in my life, um, and uh, try to be less negative. It's hard right now with, you know, a pandemic and being locked down and all of that, but even more so of a reason to why I need to be practicing these things is because I can easily get caught up in the negativity. Um, one thing that uh, I've been finding that's been helping me is uh, reading, reading a lot of positive books. It's another one of my resolutions is to read uh, two books a month. Um, so I did uh, Tuesdays with Maury and... Um, uh, the five people that you meet in heaven and then right now i'm actually kind of in the midst of two um the the uh, life's um, awakening to your life's purpose and um uh awakening the wild woman um which is also really good it's just really it's a lot um anyways but one thing that i've been finding that's really working for me right now is the five minute journal. Like I actually love this. So it tells you right away to inside that it's not for the type of people. It's, it's for people that don't write journals, right? So it's literally five minutes. It's like there's a little blurb in the morning that you write and then a little blurb at night that you write. But the intro is I found really interesting and kind of um, just you become engaged by it because of some of the stuff that they say, you know, like everything is by habit. Like we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Um, the next book I'm reading is going to be Atomic Habits. Fernando's reading it right now. And like, he's literally changed. Like there's, it's it, for a good way. Like there's really, really good habits that he's, and it's motivating to me too. So it's all about habits for sure. But um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's got all kinds of like motivational um, words and stuff, but not in a cheesy way, like in a, in a way that it actually like makes sense. And it kind of makes something go click. Um, so yeah, so it, anyways, in here, I was going to read you guys like a little bit, like why should I write, but just before I go to sleep and it kind of explains why you should do that. Why should I write it first thing in the morning? And then it explains, <coughs> and, um, another thing that I've been doing is just avoiding my phone altogether and it has something to do with this for sure. And my book reading and just cause it gets me really agitated if I'm on the phone too early in the morning. Um, and then it sucks my time too. I find I get caught up at looking at things that are completely useless, but I have like a list of things that I wanted to get through and then I don't because I wasted like an hour or two or I'm in the middle of cleaning and then, you know, ding my phone and I go look, like, forget it. No. So I keep it off. Um, so I'll just show you. So first of all, yeah, this is also really cool. They ask you for your commitment, right? They ask you for your commitment, what you're willing to commit. Um, they ask a lot about you, your identity statement. Like, you know, like what is your biggest challenge? Uh, two actions to take per obstacle to ensure that your, um, your resistance doesn't overpower your will. Um, accountability. Um, so this is kind of, so this is, so it's already pre-written, right? Like, so it'll ask you, so the top is the morning and it always has like a nice little motivational quote, but it says, I am grateful for, and then you write three things down. What would make today great? You're going to write three things down and then daily affirmations. I am whatever you want to put there. So um, they do suggest that you put things there that you're even struggling with, um, you know, but put it into words like, you know, if you're not a confident person, you say, I am confident. So then, you know, when you reread this, it's psychological as well. Right. And eventually you know, you're going to, for me anyways, from writing things in here, I'm noticing that I am putting them into play in my life because it, I think about what I wrote in the morning, right? And then I think about what I wrote at night, what maybe I didn't get. To, and then, so I'm constantly reflecting back to this book, um, to become a better person overall. Um, so that's the morning thing. So literally like that takes less than five minutes. And then you have your evening, um, three amazing things that happened today. Uh, you know, so you write that. And then, um, how could I have made uh, sorry, how could I have made today even better? And then that's it. That's it. That's literally it. And so like I've been like, so I think I'm on like day five or six or I don't know. anyways, I'm here and uh, yeah, 
I uh, really, really think that this would help anyone. So again, the five minute journal, I got this off of uh, Amazon. I'm gonna have to look up to see how much I paid because I don't remember, but I think it was under $30 uh, and it came super fast. I've looked at lots of journals before. I've had other journals. Um, I don't know, just, you know, and this is actually making me want to write more. It's like, oh, okay, that's all I have. It's just like less than five minutes, but it's just creating a good habit um, and uh, writing down my thoughts and writing down what can make things better. So, um, yeah, maybe it can help you too. So if you find that this uh, review is helpful and lots of my reviews are helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, and most of all, I hope that you have a really, really good day.